Welcome back to our channel. In this episode, I get to travel to Atlanta for my first business trip. Plus, I get to go hang out with my friends. Meanwhile, Tayo is gearing up to start his 13-week contract. In our last episode, we gave you guys a tour of the home we're living in for the next 13 weeks. So if you want to continue to come along with the Allisons, then keep watching. <music> Good morning, y'all. So I am at the airport. I love Claire. Like seriously, I really do. Made it through in record time. Walking to my gate right now. So I made it, I have about a little bit of less than an hour before my flight starts boarding. My first business trip, yay! All right, first flight is down. We gotta rush to catch our next flight. Hopefully it's in the same terminal. Yes, it is. That's gonna take us directly to Atlanta. And then we're there. Surprisingly, this flight was pretty smooth. I didn't feel when we went up, didn't feel when we came down. I'm just great. God is good. Let's make this other flight. We gotta go to C14. Tell me how I'm busy reporting. Walk right past my gate. It was literally like two doors down. So I freaking made it. Very happy. Hopefully my bag made it because they made me like check my bag at the gate. What's the sense worrying? All right, can't solve the problem. Just hopefully my bags get there. I hope this is another smooth flight. I'm here waiting to pick up my car. Obviously, I tried the Tesla for my birthday and <laughs> guess who's getting a Tesla again? Mwah. Okay, I'm getting um, an E7 model. So I figured the drive is gonna be like a little over an hour. Why not roll and stop, baby? Plus, you know, it is good practice for my future car that I get familiar with riding the vehicle of my choice. So you got bang, you got bang, okay? And then once the mind experiences something, baby, it can't go back, it can't go back, so. Once I get this, I'm going to start my drive and hopefully either get something on my way to eat or once I get there, I'll grab something to eat. Look at these babies. Look at little car. So we're picking up the car right now. Yeah, when I tell you I'm so happy I changed like the car. Like I had an SUV before and I upgraded. The line for the SUVs is out of this world. I'm so happy. Okay, so I am in, I am on my way to my destination. So the Tesla that I previously had allowed you to change the brake mode to creep, but for some reason I can't change it. So what happens is once you take your foot off of the accelerator, the car just abruptly stops. So it is an adjustment. I'm trying to see if there's something that I have to manually do, but the last time all I had to do was literally like uh, creep mode and the car didn't abruptly stop. So, which means I'm gonna have to drive with my feet on the pedal, like slightly to the right, but it's all good. It's all good. We gonna make this work either way, baby. So my commute is about an hour and 10 minutes. So we're gonna get this step we're going. I have 60% gas. By the time I arrive, I'm only gonna have about 
29% so I'm gonna have to find somewhere to fill up with gas but either way I feels good to be back in this baby All right, this is the hotel room. TV, microwave. This is my work area. Has like a lounge chair. On my bed. And then we go in here. Bathroom. Closet. And then my bathroom. Where's the light for the bathroom? Is it right here? Yeah. My shower. So this is from my home for the next three days. Been traveling all day. I am starving. I'm about to go to the Waffle House. Like <sighs> we made it. <laughs> Wait for the camera, babe. Say hi. <laughs> hey guys, so I am back. I finally found somewhere to charge the Tesla. So as you can see, it is charging right now. I don't know why it says it's gonna take that long. Hopefully I'm not sitting here for six hours. My colleague Angela, she is still stuck at the airport. Hertz ran out of cars. Nobody has cars right now. All the other counters are closed. So she's been waiting at a car for over an hour now. And there's some people there who's been waiting for at least two, three hours, which is crazy. I'm so happy. I decided to upgrade um, from the SUV I had because let me tell you something, I would have been like pissed Okay, time to add some extra wear and tear to these guys. All right, I just got back from the run. I did about, I think close to an hour. Uh, it started hailing a little bit and then it turned into rain. So now my socks are all muddy and so are my shoes. I'm pretty sure I saw like, I think like maybe a coyote. I'm gonna, cause like we're, we're more up in the hills. Um, I remember like during the last place, I, in the last place I was staying around here, I remember I saw like some like, I don't know if they were pheasants or vultures, something, I don't know, some kind of bird. So I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to some wildlife. I, I, grabbed, a, I grabbed a big stick just in case, but fortunately for me, the, the animal was like on the other side of the gate, but you know, I, I'm not very familiar with the area. So just in case there was like some hole or something somewhere, I had the stick, you know, just in case, just in case. They didn't have to use it, but I got soaked. I'm gonna hop in the shower. Uh, fingers crossed that the immune system is nice and strong because I do not want a cold. Because uh, I'm about to do a three-day stretch at work starting tomorrow. Right. Hey everyone! So took a break from errands to uh, head into Michael's. Um, as some of you may know, one of my favorite things to do uh, is toy photography. It's probably. Probably, other than reading comic books, maybe my second favorite hobby. So I came to Michael's, which is a hobby place. Um, I'm picking up this green grass mat that I'm gonna use to like make it seem like, simulate that my characters are outside. And then an essential for my toy photography uh, are these poster boards. I think I'll go with a, 
one starry starry sky one and then you can never have enough of the simple white ones so i'm gonna get some of them they're relatively cheap so <laughs> you know cheap and efficient those are that's a that's a beautiful combination and i might pick up some other things just to spruce it up but i don't have all my supplies with me here in oakland so you know there's only so many accessories that i want to add to stuff that i'm uh, while i'm here potentially i'll probably just buy stuff that i can use while i'm in oakland and then just throw it away just so it doesn't pick up space for the drive back but yeah so that's how my day is going all right so later good morning guys oh my god i'm so exhausted we literally had a fire alarm go off at like i think it was like 5 30 6 a.m it just went and stop and picture an alarm going off that is literally right above your head. Good morning, y'all. So, let's see if I can get more light here. It is Wednesday morning and I am up just getting ready for work. It's my second day. I'm beat y'all. I'm beat. Yes, it was such a long day in the office. Hey y'all. I had my official first day doing RPO as a healthcare recruiter and today literally I was in office with the decision makers all day. Like I literally, hold on, this is the fit. You don't see the fit for today? I literally just ate. I made the mistake of not eating breakfast. Tell me by like an hour in, my stomach was singing. <sighs> yeah, it's a whole new world. Like behind the scenes, healthcare, hiring, firing. It's a whole new world. And let me tell you something. It feels good because I'm just like... You're coming to me to make that decision like Ray I gotta pat myself on the shoulder cuz baby girl I'm proud of you in the office um, but today we have another day we gotta go in and then we pretty much leave today day two of my visit to most of the facilities that I'll be working for. It's been crazy busy so I haven't really gotten time to vlog or do anything. For the most part, the girl is exhausted. I can't wait to get to my girl's house tonight and just relax. Just take it down. I am. I am pooped. Overall, amazing amazing experience like touring all the facilities i'm in one of the conference rooms but one of the buildings right now but this has been an amazing opportunity so i gotta get back to work i have one last thing to do before i train and get out of here but other than that whew, child. hey guys so I know I have been on a hiatus since yesterday, but I did make it to Sushika and IK's home. Say hi, girl. Hi, YouTube. Hey, this is Jordan, y'all. <laughs> y'all already know Tashika. Well, since that was like my old vlog and I'm redoing it, y'all already know Tashika. <laughs> Say hi, IK. What's up, what's up? And um, here we are doing a science project, okay? This is this is what really happens with your kids behind closed doors. I just want you guys to know the parents actually do the project. I hope I hope your teacher don't look. Okay. Come on, Jordan. This no no. I I'm learning. I'm, I don't have kids yet, so now I'm realizing what's going to be happening. Like, take it, take it. So I'm here, and then this video for you guys that launches on Monday. I'm so excited. I have like a couple videos to edit already that I recorded for. 
Um, and but this week I've been just really exhausted, so I'm looking forward to this. And then Tashika said we're going out tomorrow. We might, right? Are we still gonna go? We're gonna go we're girls' gonna go night. night. Good night, yeah. We'll get back to you. Rain check. Rain check. <laughs> <laughs> it's girls' night. Oh my god, but yeah guys, I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Um heading back home on Saturday. So I have to record my vision board, creating my vision board with you guys, which I'm definitely gonna do. But I'm really happy that I have a lot of the content filmed already. So y'all look up that. Hey guys, so just finished um this week's third shift. It's my it was my last shift of the week. So I'm back home, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Currently, um, usually I don't actually work weekends with this particular hospital because they usually mandate the staff nurses to work weekends. So for the most part, if I'm working a weekend there, it's because I'm covering from an for another nurse. But all in all, um, this week I was getting back into the swing of things. At times, there were definitely some challenges, but we got through the week. One of my patients was a trauma patient. He unfortunately was uh, shot in the right eye. No, no brain damage. And then my other patient that I had, uh, she had some PEs, pulmonary embolisms, and a fluid collection in her in her lungs. So she still needs surgery for that. It was it was a little challenging with her, um, keeping making sure that her oxygen level was adequate plus she had a she had a lot of anxiety as well so we helped her with some medication for that but fortunately her daughter came in this week um well no sorry not this week today and sat with her for a bit and even helped feed her dinner and it is good you know to have family at bedside sometimes because you know they can one they can help you kind of keep an eye on your patients but also you know when you're sick it's good to have like caring support staff but you know, nothing beats having family next to you and you know, in your time of stress. But yeah, I'm gonna just unwind and I'm really looking forward to the weekend. Ray gets back tomorrow. I think she lands around 5.30. So I'm gonna go pick her up from San Francisco. Might hang out with one of my friends if he's available as well. And I don't have work again until, I think until Wednesday. So yeah, I have a pretty good stretch of days to myself which is one of the great things about only working three days out the week even though they are 12 hour shifts but all right people have a good evening so we are going to a sports bar today so we're gonna get out the house really excited because i'm hungry and i want to get some wings and they have a mechanical bowl so i don't know if i'm gonna do that might do it though might do it who knows but yeah, today's the last night. Um, I leave tomorrow. Are you dropping me to the airport? Of course. Of course. Exactly. Not taking care of the kids. <laughs> I'm ready. Going out tonight. Hi. <laughs> Glow woman. Hey, girl. Hi. <laughs> we outside in We outside in ATL. What up? It's cold in the air, It's cold in the air. All I can think about is food. She's here. She is. We won't stop it. We got you. And you ain't know it's going to be this hard, is it?
we're going to destination two. Okay. We decided that we're gonna go to maybe a strip club. <laughs> so my cup of tea. Um where did we where did we park again? Oh my god, guys are strolling. You got a light on in the car? There's a light on? Next stop is Lovely. Guys, I had to take it to the next day because you know we can't record in the strip club. I made it to the airport. I'm going to take off this earring because I lost the back of my other earring. I don't know why I'm sporting one. Like, like is that something that we're going to do now? Anyway, I had such an amazing time in Atlanta. I will be back next month, baby. But I am currently boarding my flight. I have two flights. I'm boarding my flight to Dallas and then... I have to head to Phoenix. No, I'm going to Oakland. Jeez, I, I can't keep up. So, right now I'm really excited because I'm planning like all like my travels for February. And it looks like every weekend I'll be doing something. So, I'm excited for that. But I have to spend time editing these videos because this We now welcome so our fun. management member of group six to board through our main boarding lane. Group six? Yeah, so. Just wanted to keep you guys posted. I feel like I'm gonna close out this vlog right now, but I will um, be back in the next vlog. Hey, baby. How you guys doing? Don't mind me. I'm kind of cold and tired. It was like a almost what hour, forty minute drive to and from SFO Airport. So I'm a little tired. But here we in here. We about to crack some crap. Yes, you know we got to crack some crap. You guys, this is what I was telling you about the robot that just moves on its own. So yes, my baby came and got me. And he told me he had some protein for me to eat. Um, but I told him I already had my mind made up. So we're about to get with my favorite seafood in the bag. Yeah, baby. Hey, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you stuck it through the end, don't forget to like, comment, you guys. Comment and subscribe. See you in the next vlog.